Fourteen years earlier, when they were students in her third grade classroom, ABC News filmed a two-day exercise for a documentary, The Eye of the Storm. Now, at their request, they will see that film again and relive the experience of her unique lesson in discrimination. places in the United States. How are black people treated? How are Indians treated? How are people who are of a different color than we are treated? They, like they, they are part of this place. world. They don't get anything in this world. Why is that? Because they're different color. You think you know how that would feel yeah. to be judged by the color of your skin? Yeah. I don't, do you think you do? No, I don't think you'd know how that felt unless you had been through it, would you? <laughs> It might be interesting to judge people today by the color of their eyes. Would you like to try this? Yeah. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Since I'm the teacher and I have blue eyes, I think maybe the blue-eyed people should be on top the first day. I mean, the blue-eyed people are the better people in this room. Oh, yes, they are. Mm. Yeah. Blue-eyed people are smarter than brown-eyed people. <laughs> My dad isn't that stupid. Uh, is your dad brown -eyed? <laughs> What happened at recess? Were two of you boys fighting? Yeah. yeah. Russell and John. Russell. What happened, John? Russell called me names and I hit him. Hit him in the gut. What did he call you? Brown eyes. Did you call him brown eyes? They always call us that. Yeah. They get all of the, um, yeah. 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 Blue eyes call us that. They call us brown eyes. They say, come here, brown eyes. Yeah. And they were calling us blue eyes. I yeah. wasn't. Sandy, Sandy and Donna were. Yeah. 